Was I their rebound is the topic for today. Greetings, you lovely bloody people. It's me again, Topic X, with another upload. Welcome. Uh, I just want to say a big shout out to everyone. You are all greatly loved. Thanks again for commenting and liking the videos. If you just joined us, please subscribe because you might as well. Today we are talking about was I their rebound? Why, why are we doing this? Well, most of us know about rebounds. But some of us end up being in a rebound. We are their rebound new toy. We don't know what has happened really in their past. They've bounced from someone else over to us. And we get very confused when they suddenly realize that they missed their ex. You've heard me other videos. When they just disappear and they pull away from us. But what is so confusing is... When we're in these rebounds, we can't get enough about this new partner. And this partner cannot get enough about you. They're all over us. Then bang, they drift off. They're cold. We feel it. The coldness. We feel them pulling away. But we want to know why they're pulling away. So we ask questions. And we're in every right to ask questions. But of course, they don't want to answer any. So they pull away even more. It gets messy. We're frustrated and confused. They have gone back to their ex. They've made contact to their ex. Their ex has probably done no contact. Pulled right away. Probably listening to YouTube videos. Just completely went in the dark. This has definitely sparked a curiosity in their ex-partner. Their ex has reached out. They've made communication. You are now not needed. And that's horrible to say. You reach out to them. They have completely disappeared. They've blocked you on everything. They've deleted your number. They've changed their number. They've completely cut all communication from you. Why? Because they don't want to fuck it up with their ex. They don't want to do it. Because their ex is going to ask them questions. Where have you been? Have you been with someone? So they're going to completely get you out of their life because they don't want to muck up any chances in rebuilding something with their ex. They don't want to do it. But when we're in a rebound, we are frustrated because we want answers. But you will find yourself completely in the dark. But what can we do about it? We can prevent it in the future, absolutely. And I urge people to prevent it. And what do I mean by preventing it? Well, when we go out on dates, we ask the relevant questions. How long have you been single for? Now, if someone says to you they've been single two weeks, you run a mile. They're not ready for it. They might say all this good stuff. Oh, we were never meant to be together anyway. It didn't last. It was toxic. Blah, blah, blah. All this stuff. But really... They're just looking for a distraction, and that distraction is you. So if you do meet someone like that, saying they've been split up with someone with two weeks, listen, it's up to you, but I personally would run a mile. They can tell you all they want. They will, because they want to get what they want, i.e. you. But I wouldn't give them the time of day, because once they get us, and we go into this roller coaster of emotions or whatever, we start dating them, we're going to become normal. Their feelings for us will just level out and they will start thinking about their ex again. This is how it works. So we don't put ourselves in that situation. We don't. Now, you might find this, them going absolutely cold on you, disappearing for about four or five months and then creeping up again because it didn't work out with their ex. And the last feeling they had of security, fun and all the good stuff was with you. So you might find four or five months down the line they come and reach out to you. Hey, long time, what you been up to? Well, I thought I was blocked. What do you mean what I've been up to? You disappeared. So you might find that. And they're ready now to give you another go because it didn't work out with the Rex. But should we give them a go? We shouldn't be anyone's stopgap, guys. We shouldn't be the people that they are just filling their lives with temporarily. We shouldn't do that. No, no, no. Guys, we are worth more than that. But if you think that you are their rebound, then guys, what can we do about it? And the hard truth, and I have to tell you the truth is, there is absolutely nothing we can do about it. We can't. We can't chase. 
They've gone, disappeared. We can't do it. Now, some people would actually say, look, I'm really sorry. You're a lovely person, but I'm giving it a go with my ex again. Okay, at least there is some closure there. We can't do anything about it, guys, unfortunately. And that is the bottom line. We can prevent it, but we can't do anything about it. All you can do, accept what has happened. It's crap, I know, but we have to just keep moving forward. And as I said, a lot of us will find them coming back out of the woodwork four or five months later because it didn't work out with their ex. Anyway, you bloody lovely lot, don't forget you can book up with me. See all the links in the descriptions below. But until then, you're all beautiful people. I'll see you later.